Good morning, and welcome back to Daily Dhamma, a letter to our children. Today is September 10th, and our reading is F-E-A-R-2. Forget everything and run. Some people substitute a stronger English verb in place of forget. Sputtering, pig-biting rage is a pretty good indication that we're scared out of our minds. When we, or someone who's screaming at us, is in the grip of that kind of anger, it's worth a wee ponder to see if we can discern what the fear is. Sometimes it's as simple as us not wanting to look as ridiculous as our temper tantrum reveals us to be. Sometimes it's more complicated than that. It's not a bad idea to pause and think, this is the mind releasing the kraken, then let it go. Anger is what fear looks like when it's trying to hide, and it bears repeating that if we were able to handle our fear and our anger, we probably wouldn't need to leave a book to our grandkids, you know? I mean, everything would be just so peachy, so tickety-boo that it wouldn't even be funny, and so none of this would have been necessary. But quite the opposite is true. We have a, a, a difficult time staying on the razor's edge and living our lives in a way that's on a par, on an even keel with equanimity and, and, and like that. If we could do it, we would. And we wouldn't even have to talk about it. But we, we have trouble doing it. So this part is actually very useful. When we are pig biting mad, it's a pretty good idea to stop for a second and check our fears. What am I afraid of? What is it that's that's making me scream and jump up and down and act a fool? And it might be worth thinking that or considering that when we're talking to other people who are kind of in the same boat. In any case, the good news is that we can If we take a look at this, that if we try to change our own attitude, we have a shot at doing that. We have zero shot at changing other people. So, back to the serenity prayer. God grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change. That's everything we see, feel, taste, touch, hear, smell. Change the things we can. That's maybe our attitude, all inside stuff and the wisdom to know the difference. And if we can't tell the difference between inside and outside, we got bigger problems than (laughs) temper tantrums, actually. We're going to need a bigger boat, that's what they say. That's just our story, and we're sticking to it. Please check the description box for the table of contents of the book, Daily Dhamma, A Letter to Our Children. That's available on Amazon. There are also the 10 playlists for this channel, and you can take a look at those. They might help you figure out what we're trying to do here. And happy trails to you until we meet again.